Good afternoon, face uh, lab coat world. So we are super excited to uh, bring to you today uh, some awesome folks from uh, Smart Real Estate Coach. So Chris Prefontaine is a three-time best-selling author of Real Estate on Your Terms, The New Rules of Real Estate Investing, and uh, Monica Sawyer's Real Estate Investing for Women. He's also the founder and CEO of SmartRealEstateCoach.com and the host of the Smart Real Estate Coach podcast. Uh, Chris has been in real estate for almost 30 years. His experience ranges from constructing new homes in the 90s to owning a realty executive franchise. He's kind of been all over the place in, in real estate, so a ton of knowledge, uh, and running his own investments, uh, both commercial and residential, for his coaching clients throughout North America. Uh, today, Chris runs his own buying and selling business with his family team, and they purchase two to five properties a month, so they're in the trenches every single week. They also help their associates and students to do the exact same thing across the country, uh, working together on another 10 to 15 properties every month. Having been through several real estate cycles, Chris understands the challenges of this business and helps students navigate uh, the constantly changing real estate waters. Um, in addition to Chris, we also have uh, Zachary, and Zachary is an Amazon best-selling author of the new real estate, or sorry, the new rules of real estate investing, and co-host of the Smart Real Estate Coach podcast. He is a partner, CEO, COO, and coach at Real Smart Real Estate Coach. In September 2020, they'll be releasing a revised edition of Real Estate on Your Terms, which Zach will be co-authoring. At the age of 25, Zach decided to leave the world of bartending and personal training and jump into the family business. It was one of the first big risks that he took in his life as nothing was guaranteed. Plus he knew absolutely nothing about real estate. Through hard work, in-house training and implementation, Zach has now completed over 100 deals and growing. On top of that, he coaches students around the country on how to buy and sell property just like his family still does. Now as a group, they buy and sell 10 to 15 properties a month with a predictable and scalable system, controlling between 20 to $25 million of real estate at any one time with little to no money in the deal and no banks involved. Zach has been in the business for over four years and now runs all operations of Smart Real Estate Coach on top of continuing to coach his students and associates. He has an amazing wife, Kayla, and two small children, his son, Remy, and his daughter, Bellamy. He is a prime example of how to, how to be successful both in business and at home. You guys have seen past videos from me talking about balance versus harmony, so it sounds like he's got great harmony. Uh, they are going to uh, show a video and then jump right in and just start pouring knowledge into all of you. So uh, get ready. Uh, put down your phones, put down your, your, get off your other screens and pay attention. This is going to be huge. Alex, thanks. That was quite the mouthful. So we'll play this quick video. And then <laughs> just, just for to set the scene here, guys, this is a third of three that Zach and I have done for lab coat. So there are some people that did all three. We know there's some that haven't done the first two. So we are going to go very quickly through the summary of what it is we're doing because by request last uh, month, they want, you all wanted, and the owners wanted more deals and actually more deals from our students, not us. And so we've got some students on with us to do just that after we go a fast uh, overview. So stay tuned here, we'll go through the video first and then give you a 10,000 foot view very briefly. Right, so away we go with part three, guys. Um, let me grab my video back, Zach, so we can actually see. All right, 
So uh, just as a reminder, all participants, and if it's your first time for sure, uh, you're gonna get free gifts at the end. Zach, you wanna just walk them through this? And again, we'll be as brief as we can on this repeat stuff. Yeah, you're going to get the new rules of real estate investing, which Alex happened to mention. You're going to get the real estate on your terms. Uh, we're also going to get um, what's your excuse? Seriously, uh, Nick is actually on here. I saw that. Uh, it does say Chris Prefontaine, but that's actually Nick Prefontaine there as well. Uh, and he wrote the book along with um, a very famous uh, Army person who got blown up. Uh, so, so amazing, amazing uh, stories to tell there plus a three-year million-dollar plan. Uh, and then, of course, uh, many of you have actually uh, taken advantage of this already. And as a free strategy call with Chris or I, where we actually can dive into you, um, dive into what your current challenges are and point you in the right direction. So uh, that is with me, Chris and I. All right, so again, disclosure, guys. We are on purpose going to go fast here because you want a deal. So let me just get you through... Uh, we're only going to talk about things that we do in our business. And as realtors, and I, I, as a past realtor myself, I will tell you, we're, we're talking about three paydays per deal that we create with these types of deals that we're doing. Uh, Zach will touch upon the family team and how that ties to the community briefly, and then we'll keep diving in here. Yeah, so as Alex alluded earlier, I mean, this is purely a family team. And actually, the picture over here on your right hand side is actually uh, pretty old now because Bellamy is around as well. And Remy is running around like a madman. Uh, but we truly live core family values. And if you look in the middle, um, there is what we call the Wicked Smart Community. And we actually have a couple of our associate members here with us, uh, which I'm just going to introduce just briefly. You're going to see Steve Mernick. Uh, Chad Heater, Mike McCready's, and Brian O'Neill, who's going to help us go through some deals. And then also you see Nick Prefontaine, my brother-in-law, and Chris's son. Uh, the Wicked Smart community is an amazing community that specifically works together, works in the terms business, but all has the core values, which right now, uh, actually that bio is a little outdated. Right now we're doing 25 to 30 deals per month uh, with the helps of each one of these associates over here. So Amazing community to be a part of, um, and uh, certainly you will have the opportunity to get what our uh, systems are in which we do those types of deals uh, towards the end as well. Awesome. And then, um, obviously, Zach, just a quick mention there, please. And we'll... Yeah, uh, I would definitely follow us on social media if you haven't already, but the main focus I would look towards is the YouTube channel. Um, and we have over 100 deal structure videos. We call them deal structure Sundays. Uh, it's probably over 120 of them now. Uh, and we're going to hit, uh, say, four or five of them today live and walk you through some of these deals. But over 100 deal structure Sundays. So go ahead and watch those as each and every video you watch, you're going to pick up another nugget on how to be able to structure these deals without using your own cash, without using your own credit, or going to banks for money. All right, so what do we mean by on terms, guys? Just, again, a high level so we can keep diving in here. Uh, what Zach and I and Nick and team and all the associates mean is basically the uh, deals that are going to be lease purchase and or owner financing. Am I live, Zach? Uh, nope. You're black. Blacked out. Well, as we run through this. Chris, you there? Did you disappear? I'm here, but I don't know if you can hear me. I can hear you. We just can't see you. I'm frozen. Uh, and my slides are frozen. Lovely technology. All right. Well, let's go ahead and continue to work this through. So when we say buying and selling on terms, uh, what we mean is without going to the banks, without using your own cash, without using your own credit, and uh, certainly without signing personally for any of your deals that you do. As we are alluding to in that Wicked Smart community, we control 30 plus millions of dollars worth of deals at any given time. Um, and we don't sign personally on any of those. So we certainly would never suggest that you do the same. Um, let me go ahead and see if I can pull up the PowerPoint as well, just to get this moving on, on our end. Um, Well, yeah, it seems to be frozen, guys. Sorry. Don't know it's why. okay. Let's do this. Just so 
we can cover the distance between now and when this PowerPoint gets moving on my end. Um, let's take each one of the associates here. And if you could, just so people can see that everybody comes from various backgrounds and that you're still doing deals. If you could, uh, let me start with you, Brian, just tell us uh, who you are, where you're from and what you've, um, what you've accomplished for deals so far. That way they get a background before we dive into these deals. Hey, Zach, uh, let me just interrupt for one quick sec. Uh, Chris, you may want to click stop video on your video because while you're screen, screen sharing, it might be pulling your bandwidth. That might be part of the issue. So if you click on the little video camera in the bottom left corner and just put the slash through it, that might help you out. Uh, sorry about that. Go ahead, Brian. Hello, everyone. Now, Brian O'Neill here. I'm in the uh, Chicago market. I've uh, been with Smart Real Estate Coach uh, as an associate for a little over seven months. And to date, I've got uh, nine houses under contract, uh, taken and uh, one sold. And then why don't you give us uh, your total three paydays um, as we dive into that in a minute. And paydays, you guys, just in case you didn't attend the last the last um, couple sessions. Yeah, um, <clears throat> excuse me, on the sold home, uh, all three paydays uh, totaling 52,000. <clears throat> 52, and for the other ones that have not sold that are under contract, uh, the average pay, pay day for, payday for those is just under 74,000 for all three paydays. Yep, so payday one, number one, non-refundable deposit. Payday number two, would be the spread you collect every month and pay number three would be your back end deposit, which would be the principal pay down and any uh, additional premium you have on there. Uh, Steven, do you mind go ahead and talk about yours quickly as well? Uh, yes, I am Steve Mernick. I, I'm from Brooklyn, Connecticut. And my wife and I, uh, we run uh, our buying and selling entity. Uh, we have uh, 15 properties under contract. We have about six on the market now. We've sold three, about to sell a fourth right now. Um, our deals have been a sub two totaling. Originally would have been about 75 grand over 48 months, but we're converting it to owner financing. So we're gonna have this home for probably 30 years. So we don't really know what the projections are gonna be, but that's gonna be six figures plus. Um, our other solds are AOs. And they have averaged around 25 to 30 grand each. Awesome. Uh, Mike, you there as well? Yes, I am. My Perfect. name is Mike McCready's. I am from, sorry, watching my son today, um, from Fresno, <laughs> California. Um, currently have, oh, I have seven properties taken, uh, five sold, uh, all averaging. Uh, I would say between 70 and 75 grand. The lowest one is 55 um, and five of those are sold. So, uh, I mean, if you can do the math there, uh, well, almost 400,000 probably total in, in all three paydays. Beautiful. And Chad? Hey guys. Um, thanks for having me. Um, yeah, I'm based in uh, Colorado, um, just about two hours south of Denver. Um, I've had uh, nine takens, um, three sold. Uh, each of those were owner finance deals, totaling $323,000 and averaging $108,000 per deal. Love it. Yeah. And how many of you had real estate experience before you dove into this? No Not hands. me. I had rental. <laughs> Not me. Zero. Awesome. All right, guys. So let's continue to dive in here. Um, so who is this for? Certainly it's for real estate agents. It's for those who want additional profit center. It's for somebody who's looking for replacement income. Uh, it's certainly somebody who's looking to put together a retirement income as well. And then certainly to own your own home as I'm broadcasting from a property in which I bought on a lease purchase because I'm self-employed. So what is buying and selling on terms? That is what we consider a lease purchase. Uh, owner financing and buying properties subject to the existing loan. Uh, lease purchase, title does not transfer. It simply means that you and the seller are gonna agree upon a price today. You'll take over 100% responsibility associated with the property. And then on or before an end date, you'll be cashed out completely. 
Owner financing from, uh, from what we consider owner financing is a property that is, that is debt free. We then would close on the property. The seller would hold a first position and then uh, we would make principal only payments. That's 0% interest for a period of time. Um, and then on or before a time frame, they'd get a balloon payment. So great, great aspect for someone, a seller who's looking to get the most net equity from the house and subject to would be buying a property subject to the existing loan and acknowledging um, that there's a mortgage on the property, closing on it, and then you'd be contractually responsible for taking over any and all responsibility of the property until the cash out in the future. All right. Where do these buyers come from? Uh, my brother-in-law, Nick, is actually sitting here. He works with all of our buyers um, and is the reason in which our paydays continue to dramatically increase. So where do these buyers come from? They're someone who's self-employed. I talked about that earlier. Uh, somebody who needed some credit repair. Somebody had a job change sidelined by COVID or with banks, super relative to today's market. Um, so, but what they really need is just time. They just need time in order to get financing. We talk about three paydays. This is what we are talking about. Uh, pay number one is the non-refundable deposit that we collect from our buyers. It does come directly off the purchase price. Our average, just for our uh, own buy and sell entity, so that's me, Chris, and Nick, uh, average is about just over $26,000. Uh, the spread, which is our payday number two, is just over $300. Uh, so that would be our monthly cash flow. And then our cash out, um, which is the back end total profit is just under $36,000. So that brings you to a point in which it's just over $75,000, all three paydays. So if you look at our proven system, um, if you look at this from a, a standpoint in which uh, total profit, so we're just looking a, at a 12 month look back here, meaning We've taken on all three paydays. Uh, this is just a 12 month look back at those properties. Um, at any given time, we typically control anywhere between uh, 50 and 60 properties. This is just looking at the past 12 months, which is roughly 24 deals. And uh, so if you look at your payday number ones, uh, which are some upfront and some are scheduled, uh, meaning over the course of their lease, that's just under 600,000. You're getting a cash flow monthly of just under $6,500. And then the payday number three, which tends to come over anywhere between three and 10 years. Now you're able to step off the treadmill here because you're creating wealth, not only now, but in the future, uh, just over 800,000. So looking at a 12 month look back of over 1.6 million in total profits. Chris, welcome back. Yeah, thanks. I don't know what happened, but it looks like you did great. Awesome. <laughs> All right, so let's dive into some some real deals. Chris, are you able to pull it back up on yours uh, as far as the PowerPoint, just so it can be active? Yeah, I sure as hell can try, right? <laughs> well, we're gonna Go dive into start, some deals. Start that deal, I'll get her up. All right, so who's up? Uh, let's go to Brian O'Neill. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop the sharing real quick. Chris, you wanna go ahead and throw up Brian's deal? Yeah, hold on a sec. Brian did already introduce himself. Everybody knows everybody right now, Chris. So uh, we're ready thing. to rock and roll as far as uh, diving into some deals. You're going to love this live stuff. <laughs> All right. We good? Oh, I'm good. I just got to get the slides up. All right. Easy enough. So, all right. That's a beautiful thing. You guys, welcome. This is what you've been waiting for anyways. You guys have already, most of you guys have been on these two other anyways. So, just a quick recap. Let's dive into some real deals. Brian O'Neill, you're up. Brian, uh, as long as I stay live, I'll walk through this with you, my man. So, you want to talk a little bit about um, source on this first? Yeah, the source of this deal is from a, it's an expired 
Sly Broadcast, uh, sent out a voicemail, and the seller called back, and I spoke to him, I think, the same day. So one day turnaround on a lead, cool? Correct. <laughs> Go ahead, on the debt. Yeah, he um, he owes he owes uh, 155. That's his uh, mortgage balance, and we we are paying him six thousand dollars. This deal is a sixty month sandwich deal that will convert to a sub two probably within six to nine months, likely sooner than that. Um, and that's all he wanted out of the deal. I asked him, I asked him what he was hoping to walk away with. And that's the number he gave me. He, he, he wrote the deal himself. Okay. So for the realtors, Brian, let me just uh, tell me if I'm off on any of this uh, for the realtors to know expired listing coincidentally. So we usually say to them, what did you think you were going to net? If, if you did sell it, you didn't, and they come up with a number, we take what's left for the mortgage. And the rest of that is paid to them at the end of the term. In this, in this case, 60, 000, uh, 60 months. All right, Brian. So I was, let's go to the sell side. Yeah, we're, we're marketing this property for 195000 which I'm very confident we'll get. Uh, our buyer will put down 10% uh, plus the first month, which is uh, $1,735 a month for total, total deposit of $21,235 for payday one. Okay, so important to note there for everybody, uh, over the years, probably four or five years ago, we picked up the kind of the new protocol of, we start our mortgage payments a month after we take occupancy of the property, take control of the property because mortgages are paid in arrears. In 9.9 out of 10 homes, the sellers agree, they get it, and we pick up an extra whole month of profit. Go ahead, Brian. Got it, yep. Uh, mortgage payment is uh, $1,380 a month, PITI, and our lease payment will be $1,735 a month from the buyer. So cash flow $355 per month, you know, 60 months, this could go longer, but that's gonna, especially being sub two. Uh, so the spread is $21,300 over the term. Okay, and so for those, I don't know if you guys got into anything before I jumped on, but subject two, when he said he'll convert this, another one of our favorite uh, uh, kind of exits is, Take a sandwich lease like this. They know him, trust him, understand that he's paying their mortgage. Now there's a relationship. Then he goes to them and converts that to ownership. Loan stays in the seller's name, but he'll own the house. And he won't have a clock ticking for 60 months, nor will his buyer. Yep, we marked it up. Uh, again, we took it for 161, selling it for 195. So there's a 34,000 markup. Uh, principal pay down is about $200 a month over the 60 month term. That's 12,000. Uh, less the payday one deposit for a total of 26,500 for payday three. So just for a recap now. Yep. 21. 21. So Brian, what deal number was that for you? One? No, this was, uh, I think Six. Six taken? Six taken, yes. Okay. So uh, not too shabby, 70,000. Uh, our average, as Zach showed you, is, is around 75. So right on the money. Um, any nuances on this or uh, Nick and Zach, anything you want to add to this as well? I don't know how involved you were with Brian, but Brian, are there any nuances, weirdness, anything that the, the uh, lab co group could glean from? I mean, not really any nuances. I'll just say the motivation was pretty evident right from the jump. I mean, he, he had, I uh, was on with a realtor and just was displeased and, and wasn't getting what he wanted out of it. And I asked him a few simple, basic questions. And as I said uh, in, in, the, in, in the intro, uh, the seller wrote the deal. Uh, I didn't have to. He okay, so here's, he here's something really cool then. For the, again, for the, most of these as a realtors, not all. The, the fact is, if you, get the skill set together and or with our help, understand how to talk to sellers instead of anything that doesn't fit inside your normal realtor setup, your normal box, I would say. Expired listing, over leveraged houses, can't afford a commission, any of that. That's where this comes into play. And instead of throwing that expired listing away or walking away from it, uh, disappointed or maybe they're disappointed like this guy was, you pick up $70,000 and do them a huge service. By, by being able to exit them from the, from the property. Uh, Nick, Zach, any questions, comments? 
Uh, my one comment is it just reminds me of a story which you were just alluding to, Chris. We just had an associate or a 90-day jump start. So he's part of one of our coaching programs. He is a realtor outside in Philly uh, or in the Philly market. Um, Steve actually is one, Steve is his coach. Steve Merck, who you're going to hear from in a minute, is his coach and said, hey, do you realize that every time you go present to a seller, that you, if you have these additional options, that you can now help out 100% of sellers. So actually, uh, his name's Peter, and he got his first property signed under contracts on 44 days from his first call with us. So he went to a normal appointment, he had a relationship as if he was going to go sign a normal listing. And he said, hey, based upon what you're telling me, this does not, like me listing your house, does it make a ton of sense right now? Why don't I show you some additional options? And then he actually was able to put together a 36 month lease purchase agreement that we know is going to pay him over $75,000 on all three paydays. And now he's got his first deal underneath his belt. Uh, and it was an easy bridge to, Hey, I, w I would love to list your property, but based on what you're telling me and based on your motivation and your challenges, it would make a lot more sense for me to buy this house on a lease purchase. And that's how, um, that's how it was created. Yeah, exactly. so as a realtor, you look at this morally and ethically in this with the seller and just go, give me all the info, kind of like Brian did. That's how he got the offer written for him. And and what's the best option available for you? So you're always in the best position. You're always going to be the authority in your marketplace. And there are going to be realtors that give you listings that they can't do stuff with. We get them all the time. Exactly. Just one thing, one thing to add, uh, Zach and Dad, is that, yeah, with the – as far as working with the seller and those are, those are great tips and everything, but I'm sure all, all of the realtors understand not every buyer that they've worked with has been able to get financing today. So imagine if you find a buyer who wants to buy a house, but they're not able to get a loan today, like right now, however they will, with some help, you can add them to your buyers list. And I, I believe now we have over 4,000 buyers on our, our buyers list here internally for our own buying and selling entities. So it's just the power, the power of your list, um, your buyers list that you're going to build each property that you get under contract under terms like this. The buyers list is really uh, sky's the limit, uh, the potential for that. And Nick, uh, just because you weren't on the last two uh, trainings, you know, what's your background? That way, because I think it's super relatable. Oh, my back. Yeah, my background. I got my real estate license in March of 08. I was a realtor up until January of 2016 when I went full time with um, buying and selling properties exactly like we're teaching here and also working hand in hand in the trenches with our associates. That was full time in 2000, January, 2016. Prior to that, I was starting to do the marketing, starting to work with the buyers a little bit more and more. And that, that led me to refine a process to bring the, every buyer through that's going to maximize the paydays per deal. And that's something that I work with each associate to do. Uh, it's actually a lot of fun. So happy to be here and happy to help you guys out in any way I can. Yeah. And we'll do awesome. some Q and a guys. Um, after we do maybe another deal or two, we'll do some, we'll stop and do some Q and a, or do you want to take some questions on this deal? Uh, Brian and Zach. Yeah, we might as well take some questions as we go. Um, as we do that, Steve, did you have one last comment and say, oh, you got cut off by each and every one of us? <laughs> <laughs> I was just going to say a good to know for the realtors. Um, Pete, who got his first property under contract the other day after 45 days, I believe, of being with the community, he has an advantage for being a realtor because of the fact that he's been a realtor for 20 years. He has multiple investor um uh, sellers that he's worked with over the decades that he's built great relationships where now he can present them with other options and let them choose. 
I can list your house for this, but for you know whatever commission, or here's four other options we can also do also do creatively. And he's just presenting people like that. And you know when you have built-in rapport with these sellers from years and years ago that you know well, you have such more of an ex- advantage than other people. So I just think it's important to know that. Yeah, and we have a net sheet that's part of our course, guys. That gives the breakdown. Most of you know how to do a net sheet, but we've got it compared comparing it to terms deals. And it's significant more that they, that they net. Um, I think that's what he's questions. using. Awesome. Yeah, guys, make sure you go ahead and drop your questions in the Q&A box. Um, I did just get one here in the uh, chat, which is what is FMR? Uh, that is first month's rent. Um, just so you guys are clear on that. Um, all right. Is there any Q&A? Yeah, so guys, please go ahead and drop the Q&A in the box. Um, as need as well. And let's move on to the next deal. Zach, why don't you do that one, Mike? Is Mike on? Mike, you here? I'm on, guys. You ready to rock and roll? Yes, All sir. right. So let's start moving through this deal. If you could, just at the beginning, give a little uh, background on this deal. What's the source? Uh, this one was, I think we got the wrong picture of the house on there. So I want to make sure, let me see the numbers real quick. And I'll tell you which one it is. Okay. We got the wrong picture there. Okay. Got it. This one was an expired listing. Um, uh, one of my first deals ever did. Um, and these people just, they had renters in the house originally and the renters weren't, uh, they basically weren't doing well, right? Uh, and he, he wanted to basically get and kick them out and sell the house. And he had it up on the market originally um, and it expired. I think just because he had the renter in there made it difficult to sell. So um, I told him I'll take a crack at it and see what we could do for him and really maximize the value in his property. Mike, do you um, remember what it was on for when it expired? Uh, I want to say it was on for like 375-ish, right around okay. there, 365. Got it. Okay, awesome. So, if you guys are looking at it, debt to equity. So, purchase price is 355. Uh, so, the debt on the house is a 345 mortgage, and you locked in 10,000 dollars worth of equity. Is that accurate, Mike? Yes, sir. All right, beautiful. On a 48 month term, sold for 389. So, let's dive into your payday number one. So buyer one, and the reason why I put buyer one is because we got our first buyer in there. They put 22000 down uh, three months in. Uh, they were having financial troubles. Uh, their business wasn't doing well. They were having health issues. Uh, and and sadly to say, the, the uh, wife of the buyer passed away. So he didn't want to be in the house anymore. I mean, all that happened within the first three months. So um i didn't panic right uh, chris always teaches that hey look we're positioned well especially with our deposit uh let's pivot find another buyer and and, and move on to the next right uh, we're going to be okay with this so uh the way we structure our deals it protects us right for you know events that happen like that right so first buyer twenty two thousand. it is non-refundable um i did have to cover a couple months of payments which were around five grand or so. So I ended up netting 15 or 14 or 15 grand out of that 22 in my pocket and then went on to buyer number two, which I found really within a couple of weeks. It just, it took him a couple months to get out of the house. So that's where I lost uh, my first two payments. Okay. Awesome. Hey, Mike, don't you have with buyer two, uh, let me just see here. Don't you have more paydays coming for payday one or no? No, we already got all that, but I do. Okay. Yeah. So buyer two put down 15 grand. So uh, that's an additional 15 that we got from a payday one. But they're not putting down any additional payday ones, buyer two? No, they're actually cashing okay. out here in the next, uh, to be honest with you, in the next 30 days. So we're going to be okay. free here. But uh, let's see what yeah, it looks so, like then. All right. So what's your cash, your pay number two? What's the spread on this? So the spread's 370. Uh, so 48 months would be 17,760. Uh, so payday number three, about 35 grand, uh, plus the principal pay down of 23,136, uh, minus of course the payday one, 
We're not taking total of the uh, petty 137. Uh, that should yeah. be only uh, 15 that's out of that. Uh, that was yeah, so we're going to be 22 grand higher on this payday three than the screen shows. Uh, right. So it's more like $44,000, 43, right? Right. Yeah. And then let's do a summary here quick. Sorry. Well, Mike, I, I think the a major thing that came about in this deal, which I think is super important, is everybody always asks, well, what happens if a buyer defaults? Well, this is a prime example of what the buyer, what happens when the buyer defaults. You go secure another buyer and you always make sure from business sense standpoint, you put part of that non-refundable deposit away in case you need to make a couple monthly payments and then you go ahead and sell it to another buyer, uh, which is about to cash you out. So that was another question that most people ask and that's do people actually buy these houses? Uh, it's a prime example of yes, they do. Uh, yes, so and, this, and this payday three is gonna be a very nice payday three, as you can see, uh, I mean, it's gonna be what, 45,000, 44,000? something. Uh, yeah, so this yeah. deal's like a 99 grand deal. Uh, yeah, exactly. about a 90 grand deal. 90 something. Close to 90,000, yeah. Love it. And to be honest, that was done, uh, yeah, it's 90,000, you're right. I'm sorry, I'm trying to calculate in my head right now, but very nice deal. Uh, great buyers, uh, we got in the house, been on time every month, uh, haven't had any issues with them. Uh, I mean, they're just a, the prototypical buyer that we want, you know, uh, for our, our program. So uh, very happy with this deal. Um, very profitable. We, any questions we on this one, deal? Yeah, we got one question uh, from Chris Gately. What happens when your tenant buyer misses payments? Are you still on the hook to pay the seller? Uh, yes. According to our agreements, yes. We're always going to, morally and ethically, we're going to make these payments. Um, do you have the ability to pivot on any of these types of deals? Um, back when we first started doing these types of deals, we've actually gone back to the seller before and asked them to make a couple payments in the meantime while we found another buyer. So certainly if this is your first couple deals, you have the ability to go back and pivot and, and communicate with these sellers. Uh, but what we do from this standpoint is we make a couple payments and that's why uh, we would always recommend that you take a portion of your non-refundable deposit and you put it to the side. And that way, no matter how many months you want to calculate um, that you feel comfortable uh, doing. And then eventually as you continue to do these deals, your spreads alone are going to be able to cover many months of many deals. Uh, as we showed you earlier, it's about $6,500 a month. If we did a 12 month look back on our end, so you can make a couple deals, uh, a couple month payments if needed without even sweat. Yeah, and Chris, your question is exactly what happened to Mike. They didn't default payment-wise, they defaulted in their entire life event with the death and all this stuff going on. So that's what happened, exactly what happened. Um, but you take, you, these are these are standalone anomalies, not the norm. So if you take enough of what Zach said and put it aside so you're comfortable putting your head on a pillow at night, you're fine, more than fine, as Mike alluded to. Any other Q&A, Zach? Uh, yeah. Where can I find part one and part two? Uh, Chris, I believe that they're all on the, uh, lab code agents site on the Facebook page. Um, I believe Chris, don't we have Kristen? This would be a Kristen question. Do you have a replay? Chris, do, we have the replay of all of them. So, um, Chris, could you just direct message Kristen Gallant, uh, give her your email and we'll go ahead and send you the replays. On the right, chat box. Well, you can put them for everyone, uh, and we'll we'll message it too. But you can put them out for everyone. Perfect. Um. All right. No other Q and A. Let's move to the next deal. Uh, we want to do Chad because Chad's on. You can always come back to this, Mr. Brian Superstock. <laughs> we'll come back to him. Let's get Chad through a deal here. Oh, that was a quick deal. Yeah, that was a good job. All right. There Chad, he is. Uh, yeah, that, 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 that's that's not the, the same property, but um, that's okay. The wrong picture? Yeah, that's okay. Was well, it the thing. right picture in the upper left-hand corner? Is that you, Chad? That's <laughs> me. That is me. The handsome guy up there, yes. 
All right, beautiful. Yeah, do the numbers make sense too? Do you know what house that is? Yeah, I do. Yeah, it's it's a, it's a good it's Golden Colorado. Uh huh. Okay, so let's go through the uh, well the sources up on the screen. Uh, we want to talk about the, the purchase a little bit because this, unlike the leases, is an actual buy, which all three of your first deals were. Yeah, so this is an owner finance. I got it on expired slight slight broadcast. Uh, the the owner had <clears throat> had tried to market it with a uh, with a realtor, um, and um, you know, just, just didn't have luck. Um, so yeah, so got, got it under uh, owner finance contract for $420,000. Okay, two questions, Chad, to help these guys understand. It was on the market for how long roughly with a realtor? It actually was only on the market for about four months. Uh, okay. She just got frustrated. Okay, mm -hmm. not, not bad, but a realtor who knew terms could have stepped up and been the hero there. So you bought the home, closed and bought this home with the owner holding the paper but you did not do so until, as your contract allowed you, until you found a buyer, correct? Correct, contingent on a buyer. So, so basically you went to the attorney, bought the home and sold it the same day. Exactly. Okay, let's go through the, what that looks like on rent to own. Go ahead. Yeah, so the first, uh, so it had a, uh, uh, at the signing, I uh, had a uh, check for $18,000. Uh, and then we scheduled another twenty-four thousand um, dollars over over three over the next uh, actually uh, twenty-four for thirty months. So totaling uh, forty-two thousand dollars for that payday one. Okay, payday two. Payday two. Um, so I, I take in each month from the um, uh, from the buyer uh, twenty-one ten plus they are also paying uh, taxes one hundred eighty-five a month. Um, so from that 2110, I pay the seller $1,800 a month, principal only. And it's pounding down principal. That's the yeah. key thing here. For those of you guys that didn't see the full one and two series, we went over an owner financing deal, Zach and I, on those. It'll help you to go through that as well as the YouTube channel. But these owner financing deals, let me give you some parameters. And as a real estate professional, this will resonate, if nothing else, okay? Any owner financing deal that you structure, $200,000 price and up, for a four year term or longer, you have six figures all day long with the three paydays, six figures per deal. Uh, Chad, with your three deals, you average what? Uh, just uh, just under uh, $108,000. Okay, there, there you go, case in point. So let's go on to payday. Uh, well, there's your cash flow, right? Yeah, monthly cash flow. Mm -hmm. Okay, Love payday three. Chad, it's actually a little higher because with the t you didn't include the taxes in the payment from the buyer. Uh, it's well, not including 18 either. Right. Yeah. He's right on that, uh, Nick. Oh, okay. Go ahead, Chad, on pay date three. Yeah, so markup from the sale. So um, the, the buyer's paying $460,000. So that's $40,000 uh, from, um, uh, from, from for that part of the payday. The principal pay down is, is, is a pr pretty good chunk at $64,800. Pretty good chunk. <laughs> <laughs> it's huge. All right, go ahead. And minus what they uh, paid uh, for payday one over time, forty-two thousand. Uh, payday two is sixty-two thousand eight hundred. So and let's so, wrap this up and see how this looks. Yeah, so adding those up should be yeah one fifteen nine nine sixty. Okay, so what's cool is when Zach and I showed deals, we showed little ones from the beginning of us doing terms several years ago. We showed a, one big one, but these are Chad's actual deals that he did. And they're all in that range. Pretty cool stuff. Uh, Chad, well, any um, nuances or takeaways or ahas for someone new looking at this in this transaction, or lessons you learned because you didn't have experience? Uh, I mean, I mean, with this deal, it was pretty, it was pretty standard. Uh, the the uh, the motivation on the seller side, she had just gone through a divorce and had uh, some some rental properties. This was one of them uh, that she wanted to liquidate and get some cash flow going. Um, so that's where she really needed that eighteen hundred dollars a month. Uh, we, we worked the numbers and, you know, it, I knew what I could get on the market. And so uh, that actually worked out. Uh, the buyers are self-employed, so it's a family. Uh, so, uh, you know, again, uh, great, great prototype for, you know, for our program. Um, I'd say about 80, 80, 80 percent of my buyers are, are self-employed. Um, so, yeah, so it's, it was a it was a model model transaction. Yeah, so never mind during COVID, that, that in a normal time, they couldn't get financing right away. They needed the on-ramp. Correct. 
Yeah. Correct. And then this one closed actually um, uh, June 1st. So this was, this was during COVID. Hot off the press. Yeah. All right. Any Q and A, Zach, or do you want to crank out another deal here with, with uh, Brian or uh, do you want to, Steve's on too. So whatever you guys want to do. I have not seen any Q and A. Oh, Patrick, how do you get around the due on sales clause when the owner, when the owner of the property has mortgage? Uh, so from a lease purchase standpoint, the title is not going to transfer. So it would not trigger the due on sales clause. You have a lease with the option to buy on before the end of the term. So wouldn't, wouldn't need to get around that, uh, on a subject to deal. Um, what we have seen, and Chris, you can certainly chime in on this. What we have seen in the hundreds of deals that we've done, it's uh, even when we close on the property, we have never triggered a due on sales clause. Does not mean that it won't happen, uh, but we just haven't we haven't had it happen. Uh, just because banks are in the position to collect interest, they don't want to collect properties. It's actually relatively expensive. So uh, there's all there's obviously other ways around that, Chris. You want to talk about some of the techniques we use? Well, yeah. I, so let me give you a direct example. Don is a, an associate in Pennsylvania, and this is going to be your attorney's decision, Patrick. Our attorney's fine with him, um, and he even represents some banks that we're actually doing this with, so he has no problem with it. However, uh, Don's attorney said, look, Don, I know of a few banks locally, not nationally here, in his hometown, Dallas, Pennsylvania, that they were foreclosing on some properties. So I don't know if there was an investor going on a run or something, but they wanted to stop him. I don't know but they were foreclosing. So he said to Don, no problem. Let's do contract for deed or land contract or installment contract. They're all the same. So that a deed doesn't transfer then. Does, is that precluded per se legally in a sub two? No, but do they see any deed transfer? No. So Patrick, this, this could be a, like an entire seminar, but in addition to the contract for deed, cause your question's so good, you, we put it because of the Garmin St. Germain act in the, I think it was 82 or whatever it was, people can move their home into a family trust or otherwise and not trigger it. So we're not family, but we do technique wise use the uh, naming of the street address and put it in trust when we do ours. Don's attorney suggested he do it a different way. Your attorney will handle that. We'll coach you on what we do, but your attorney will handle that. A lot of ways to pivot to, to summarize all that. I could keep going. Good question. Cool. That was it. Let's move on. Let's right. let's give some Steve some spotlight here. Uh, Chad's up again. I'm just no, kidding. Steve can uh, talk. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's just jumping on Steve. Uh, let's do. Uh, can you fast forward through this deal and let Steve hop on? Because we're sitting about two forty nine. I want to be sure to. I, yeah, we need five or seven minutes to wrap up too. So you might want to have Steve talk. I'm here. Chad, buddy. Do you want to put on this deal? Because of the technical difficulties. No, he doesn't have a deal, Zach. Yeah, real quick, just because of the technical difficulties, they said that we could run about 10 to 15 minutes over if you guys have time. So so we've got a little bit of clock left if, if you guys have the time. Okay. Got so, it. Zach, why don't you ask Steve some questions you wanted to ask him um, for, for from that we wouldn't have covered in a deal maybe so they can hear from someone different? Yeah, Steve, I was just going to ask because um, you've done a bunch of deals now. And my question is, just so we give some good takeaways to somebody who's new, uh, whether they're a realtor, uh, I know most of you guys have realtor backgrounds or not, what are like, what's like the number one, uh, you know, maybe lesson that you've learned now that you've done a bunch of deals and you've been with us for about a year that you think a new person, especially being a coach, a new person uh, should know? Uh, that's been an easy one for me. It's uh, make sure you're doing deals with people who have the same values or in alignment with your values. Because what I found is um, you can go ahead and, and get pro properties under contract, but there's red flags with certain people that you know that may come up later on. And that's what I noticed was there was people that I wanted to put a close, a close my eyes to about, if they were tough in the beginning and I should have known that it was probably going to turn into something as we progressed. And those actual uh, sellers that I work with that had those signs, the deals ended up going sideways. So all the deals that we've done that we've closed were people that literally had the same exact values as us, open communication. Um, that's been my biggest takeaway uh, learning lessons for me, for sure. 
Oh, that's a great point. So it's your business. Work with the people that you want to work with. That way you don't spend time and money um, and waste it. Um, the other thing is, too, now that you've been coaching quite a, uh, quite a group of people now, and you've actually we helped multiple people do their first deal in under 50 days, uh, meaning brand new, no real estate background, or one of them had real estate background, but the others didn't. Um, help them get properties under contract in under 50 days. Um, what is like the number one thing that somebody should know uh, to be able to accomplish a deal more quickly than others? All right. So that's an easy one too. So for our students, my wife and I students that are, have the, I should say the highest success right now is directly connected to their, their output. So our students that are on the phone, making calls, tracking their numbers, getting their reports into us, contacting us um, consistently for help, asking all these next level questions, not scared to, to feel like, um, uh, you know, feel funny about asking the question to them. It may, it may seem simple. These qualities of our students that are having the most success, they're a hundred percent uh, like I said, they're doing all of the work that they need to be doing. They're taking max massive action. That's really what it comes down to. There's no secret sauce here. If you're out there making calls every single day, talking to sellers, and you're eventually going to land a motivated one. That's really how it works. So it's just being disciplined to doing what, what is required. That's what I've noticed with all of our students that are having success. Just do what's required and be consistent. And Steve, a lot of these guys are already, a lot of them are already in front of sellers or used to making calls or referrals. They have, a lot of them have that business built up. So it's, a, it's actually a no brainer from what you just said. Yeah. And to clamp this on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Zach, if you want, we have time for one more deal and then we can do wrap up into that extra zone we got. Yeah, that sounds good. Let's, uh, Oh, well, Chad's up. So let's, let's do chat. Let's just yeah, make Brian this, has uh, a hot stop at three. So let's do another owner financing deal because, uh, you know, like Steve, Chad didn't do these deals before. And I think it's cool to see these kind of numbers being pulled out. Uh, Chad, do we have the right house picture this time? That is. Yep. That is All right. We are, we are there now. It only took an hour. <laughs> right. Go through that one, Chad, for the numbers. Sure. Um, um, so that was, um, Seller, uh, yeah, expired fly broadcast, purchased it uh, for 450000 uh, put it on the market for 500000 Was this the off-the-grid house? It looks, it sure looks like it is. It is. Uh, but well, it's, it's one of the off-grid homes that I have. And, um, yeah, so. How long uh, on the market? And that one was 14 months uh, with a realtor. Uh, this, is a, this is an off-grid property on 60 acres, so it's a unique property. Uh, you know, requires a unique buyer. Um so they had it on, on the, uh, he had it on the market for 14 months. He was an out of state seller as well. Uh, he had built this as his uh, retirement home and then life event happened and uh, he had moved back to South Carolina. Um, How much was so, it on for Chad? Uh, it was on the market at, at originally at 500,000 and I got it for 450. Sweet. Okay. Let's then, go through some math. And then, I put it, and then I put it back on the market for 500. Nice. All right, payday one. Uh, payday one, he came to the table uh, for with twelve five, uh, and we had uh, another another chunk of money uh, quickly after that. So total payday one is fifty thousand dollars over uh, twenty uh, over about twenty four months. Okay. Okay. And if I get my slides working, let's go to the next one. Okay, payday two. Uh, principal only payments uh, to the seller is fifteen ninety, um, and. Um, what I'm taking from the buyer each month is $2,200 plus he's paying the taxes as well. So he's actually paying uh, uh, 2350 each month. Nice yeah, can I stop you there for just one second? Just because what I noticed was this, you actually are paying less principal pay down on a higher purchase price uh, compared to the last owner financing exactly. you did. So yep. can you, um, can you just dive in just for 30 seconds on how you and the seller arrived at that 1590 principal only payment? Uh, it's, it's roughly what, what a, uh, what a, uh, what a mortgage payment would be at, at what he was, uh, at what he, we, he presented at 450. Um, so when we, when we look at these deals, we try to make it a, a fair, we look at what, what a fair market rent would be 
for for a home, uh, what the what the buyer would be paying eventually once they get their mortgage, mm -hmm. and basically kind of come up with a number that's that's fair for the seller and also uh, allows us to build some spread into it as well. So perfect. Cool. All right, let's go to payday three. Yeah, so the market puts fifty thousand. Uh, principal pay down is fifty seven two. Um, minus initial. Yeah, minus initial. Fifty seven. Okay, so summarize. I mean, it's a nice juicy payday three. But let's summarize this. Um, like the last one. Even better. Yeah. <laughs> All right, um, guys. This is why I said with these owner finance deals now. I always say, Chad, you broke the mold a bit because I always say when Zach and I were doing these, I always say, you're going to get these every month. And of course you're not. You're going to get one every three months. And sure. you go out and you find your first three deals like this. Well, yeah, it, it took some time on my part too. So sure. yeah, um, I, 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 I had my first taken in, you know, within 90 days, but then, you know, had some hiccups after that. Didn't have a, have it taken for quite a while, but now, now it seems to be rolling along. Okay, so is it worth the, I don't know what the next dry spell was for your learning curve, but was it worth the nine months or whatever to put together over what, 325,000? Yeah, of course, yeah. No, it's, it's very much worth it. So, yeah. I mean, every, every hiccup that I, that, I, um, that, that, I, that I hit, I see it as just, a, you know, another part of my education so in, in building this business. So uh, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't shy away from, you know, uh, the hiccups. And I'm sure uh, when I was in black zone there trying to get back on, this might've been mentioned, but during the deal, Chad, and you can comment in your own words, but during the deal for all, all our associates, you speak with Nick with the buyer, you speak with Zach and I for the seller, you speak with the team if you need support, you know, it's all yep. over the place, right? Yeah, no, the, the support's always there. Uh, if, if, if I have a question and I, I find that the most valuable aspect of, of being, being an associate is uh, being able to pick up the phone and, either reach out to you, you or Zach or Nick uh, to get my, get, you know, get my question answered as soon as possible. And um, yeah. And, and I know that saved me tens of thousands of dollars in these transactions. If I were to do it on my own, I, I definitely would not be seeing these paydays. Chad, I don't think you talked again, unless you do when I was off one more thing and then we'll do Q and A and wrap up. And that is you found your present attorney by prospecting sellers and ran into her in accident. And she's an amazing attorney who does all your deals. That's right. Yeah. So I, uh, she, she responded to one of my slide broadcasts. Um, she had a home. It, it didn't, it wasn't a good fit for her at the time, but she said on that call, you know, um, I, I like your, I, I like what you guys are doing if you ever need any help. And I uh, ended up uh, reaching out to her on this deal on this one we're reviewing right now, three months later. And she came on board as my, uh, as my attorney and uh, she's been fantastic. Uh, and, and again, loves, loves, loves our structure and uh, she's been invaluable. So I bring that up because we have attorneys, we have financial people, we have CPAs that love these deals because they, they get it. Uh, Zach, are there any Q and A? And if not, we should respect everybody's time and start the wrap up here. Yeah, just one question was uh, from Kristen Kalski. How long does it take to make this money? Uh, I I guess everyone could just go around just for two minutes and or thirty seconds and say, you know, how long you bet in the business and what's your total profits, even though we did kind of cover that at the beginning. Because Zach, I Kristen, think she might, she might, I could be wrong, but she might be asking per, like how long to take Zach, uh, Chad to make 129 and the answer oh, is 36 okay. months. Well, that's a heck of a lot easier than what I was going with. So <laughs> I'm glad that we're all here. All right. So is it Kristen you said asked that? Yeah. Okay. So Kristen, I'll answer it both ways then. Zach can answer time to first deal and associates can, but on, on every deal, this will max out at 36 months. If it goes that long, if it got extended longer, he'd make a little more. If it got cut short a little bit, he'd make a little less because of principal pay down. The short answer is that these deals go from one year to five or seven or 10 years. You just don't know. Every deal is a little different, but here's the cool thing. Zach showed you a 12 month look back. Chad can right now chart in Excel, his payday twos and his payday threes. Now they start to stagger. Now you have a cool business that you can predictably pull out that kind of cash on. And to Zach's earlier point, as I jump back on, take a break if you want. You, I remember getting to the first 12 or 18 deals and going, well, that's pretty cool. I got a million dollars in a spreadsheet over the next two to five years. That's, that's super predictable. So 
a couple of different answers for you there. And the scheduled payday ones that go out over the course of uh, the Huge. first couple of years. Yeah, that, that's another thing that you can bang on. Any other questions there, uh, Zach? We're not gonna have time, but we do have all 100 plus deals on YouTube, not as current. You're talking, these are fresh deals from this month, but you, you have all these deals on YouTube. Any other questions? No, you can, I was gonna say, you can count on a new deal structure coming out every single Sunday. So go ahead, dive in. They're about 10 to 20 minutes long. All the nuances, just dive through them. All right, so let's give you guys two things real quick. Let's give you a little glimpse of a couple other personalities. Steve's in here, but the rest they think are different. And then I want to give you your link to get all your free gifts and to be able to schedule your strategy call so that Zach and I can jump on and chat with you live and figure out what perhaps your biggest bridge is going to be that's needed so we can help you. So enjoy this short video, and then we'll wrap up with um, your links for your free stuff as well as our program if that's what you decide to do. Hi, everyone. This is Randy Jennings Doucher from North Peaks, Ohio. My name is Bill Reich. Hey, Chris Dunn Strickland here. We are Lauren and Steve Murray. Roger Campbell, Russell Ham. Mike from California. Prior to join the team, uh, my wife and I lead the lives that we need to go get our master's degrees and have to climb the corporate ladder. I was in commercial and investment real estate for the better part of 30 years. So we, we do not come from real estate backgrounds. Uh, I've been speaking for 20 years. So uh, still working a corporate job, uh, doing this part-time, sometimes um, part part-time. Uh, Spent countless thousands of dollars on courses and webinars and books and tapes, and most of you probably know what I'm talking about. And then I bought the book, Real Estate on Your Terms. And then from there, uh, the QLS, I just kept diving in further and further. I was liking what I was reading. The back got me hooked. I thought this would be a niche that I can uh, grab hold of. And we joined the team in January of 2019. And what an amazing year we have had. It has changed my life completely over the last year. Uh, we've got uh, 18 deals tied up total, which uh, equates to about $4.3 million in total value. Driving out to another buyer's. Uh, signing today, I'm going to collect another $15,000 check. We just sold our seventh home, um, three, three paydays each. We have about $700,000 in the hopper, and we're on track to do a million dollars by the end of the year. Um, I have almost 300000 worth of deals under my belt. So total profits that we have right now are $727,000. And it's not even about... Um, you know, making the first million, which I know I'm going to make, but it's about changing my mindset. Here we're starting to see the fruits of our labor. And we're on the verge of our life changing significantly. It all starts with the QLS course. The effort that you put in is going to be the effort that they match with. If you're serious about making money and being really good in what you do in real estate investing, QLS is a no-brainer. Um, I tell myself, uh, you got to have a long-term mindset with it, uh, just like what the, what the family was preaching. Joining up with Chris and the family is a no-brainer. Uh, anyone who doesn't be, uh, become a part of this or, or hear about it and, and doesn't venture out to become a part, I mean, you're missing out on something real, something authentic, something that is going to add multiple dimensions to your life. I encourage you to definitely uh, take a look at it, meet with Chris, and jump right in and take advantage of this terrific opportunity. You won't regret it. And uh, I urge you to do it, and I look forward to seeing you on the other side. Look forward to many more deals. All right, have a great day. Here's to another check. Thank you. Guys. All right, so let's do a couple things here, guys. Um, I'm going to blow to that, Zach, from a time standpoint. Um, so I can just summarize the mods just cause I'm going to show a quick video, but just summarize it for them. Yeah. So you got 12 mods here. Um, four out of the 12 mods are going to be very specific to the types of niche deals that we do Owner for one for owner financing, one for sub two, one for lease purchase and one for a sign out deals, which is similar to uh, a lease purchase. The other mods are going to be supporting mods, your scripts, your contracts, um, checklist, everything that we do on a day-to-day -day basis that allows 
not only us, but you get to meet some of the associates and coaches that are doing 25 to 30 transactions every single month. So everything's in there. Everybody completely uses that as their QLS model. Uh, and it's a system that's going to help you do A to Z. Yeah, and important to know, uh, you guys are in real estate and probably are used to a course or a program. This is a little bit more than that. It's a, it's a lot bit more than that. It's a living, breathing uh, academy that we update constantly. As recent as last Thursday or Friday, we did filming of Mod 10 to update it. So we are, because we're in the trenches, we're constantly updating contracts, forms, checklists, and more. A uh, quick, quick glimpse of what that looks like online for you. Hi, it's Chris Prefine Team, and I want to thank you for your interest in the Quantum Link System, or QLF, as you'll hear us refer to many times. All right, guys, there's your link for all of the bonuses, as well as if you decide to purchase the course, you do not have to purchase the course to get all the free gifts. It's right on the screen there, smartrealestatecoach.com forward slash lab coat. Kristen, if you could put it in the chat just in case someone is uh, just listening only. We do have, it's less than a grand, guys, and we do have a three-pay option. What we did for Lab Coat, this will be the last because it's the third of three, is we put it to $797 with still the two and three-pay options. That's not on our site. It's not offered anywhere. It's just for Lab Coat. You'll get the gifts either way on the same screen. If you want, you'll see the Lab Coat price of $797 because it's such a cool community and we've been attached to it for quite some time now and happy to help. Uh, now, to make it a no-brainer, I have two things I want to go over with you real briefly. Um, you're going to get, I think somebody said it's all mindset. I think it was Roger. Um, you're going to get a strategy call with us to help with that and to help with your strategy, your strategy in general. You're going to get the 31-day billionaire course, which Nick and I and Zach co-authored with Dr. Joe Vitale from The Secret, wrote 70 some odd books. You're going to get the buyer calls and you're going to get the seller calls. There are some in the course. All of those courses sold separately are just under two grand. We're giving all the lab coat members. If you purchase the QLS for the 797, you're getting the course and all of that for free. That's a get that's hundred percent yours. Okay. $2,000 worth, worth of stuff. We started it during COVID just for lab coat because that right there equips you to do everything you possibly could, could need in our entire community and to do all the terms deals we're talking about. Secondly, to make a no brainer, we do give a 30 day money back guarantee. There's no questions. We do ask for, so we can improve things. If it wasn't a fit for you, there's not many that happen. So we reach out and say, hey, what, what can we improve on? You got your refund, what can we improve on? Other than that, no questions asked. Um, that's why we give you the high level here so you can see what you wanna dive into and how deep. So just visit smartrealestatecoach.com forward slash lab coat. Get all these free gifts, no matter what. And if you decide to, including the strategy call, if you decide to buy the course for that special price, all the bonuses, that is on the same page. Um, Zach, if there's any Q&A to wrap up, I'm happy to do that. Or um, Alex, or we can wrap it up. I don't see any, uh, unless there's anything on Facebook that I'm missing. No, I was keeping an eye on Facebook too. Nothing there right now. Okay, so there's the link, guys. Uh, SmartRealEstateCoach.com forward slash lab coat. Alex, thanks for having us, buddy. We appreciate it. And uh, anything we can do for the community, let us know. Absolutely. Thank you guys for coming. Thanks for Bye, the lab coat. Thanks, Alex. Bye, guys.